Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a exhaust cap on a Peugeot 208. You can see that's the cap down there. Someone's already been on it and they've literally taken off the heat shield. What we're going to do is remove these bolts, the 13mm nuts as you can see. There's four of them at the top. Also got an O2 sensor. This is a 22 socket or spanner. Remove that. We're going to move to the next step. Also going to need to remove this plug. I've already moved, removed it. Plugs in right there. Now, as you can see underneath the vehicle, I'm going to release this 15mm um, bolt that holds the down part to the flexi. And then we're going to remove this 30mm nut. And there's another 30mm nut there. We've also got to disconnect this sensor from the top and then we'll work our way back up to the top to remove the rest of the component. The plan, as you can see, flexi part. Now we're going to take this 13mm off. down there, it's got like a little orange um, bit inside of it, we're going to push that out and then you can see the little black clip, literally that bit there, we're just going to lift it up once we push that orange bit out and then it should just slide off and then we can just disconnect it from there, as you can see. As you can see now, the clip's all disconnected, so that, as you can see what I was talking about on the plug, it's literally that little orange bit there you have to push out because it locks it in place and you just lift that then you just lift that bit up and then it comes off and now we've just got to move these 30 mil nuts as you can see and then the whole thing should be ready to come off as you can see now we're just going to remove them I've already loosened them more 30 mil it's a deep socket as well Can stretch it, but sometimes it's very tight. And I should be able to screw them off by hand. Also, Always try to put WD-40 on all these bolts, including the O2 sensors, before you take them off. And sometimes they're quite seized. Up. Now I'm going to try and just put a little lever bar and try and just get it to move away from that actual block and then you should be able to just slide it out and drop it down. As you can see I had to use the lever bar just to prise it away, try not to damage anything, let's see if everything's all okay. 
and they're just going to remove it from underneath the vehicle. Then we're going to remove our O2 sensors, bank one and bank two, and just the reverse to refit. Now I'm just going to slide it out, it's quite a bit tricky to come out, especially with each shield a bit loose. So just navigate the way around it, and just literally slide out. You can see the reason why we're changing it, as you can see, it's completely broken off. Now we're going to fit with this new one. You can see, now we're going to put the new sensors, the, replace the sensors. There's nothing wrong with them, we're just going to put the old ones back in. I'm going to do is we're going to also clean that up before we put it back in. So let's finish tightening this one. Okay, two cents as you can see, I've cleaned it up. Just going to refit that. That's it, 22 mil. Spun off. You can also use the O2. Um, Socket. There's also special sockets that you use for it. Now we're going to reshoot that. As you can see, now we've fitted a new exhaust um, manifold gasket and the new exhaust is on. I've also reattached the heat shield as this will stop it from melting any components like literally close to the fan or pipes. Now I'm going to fit back these uh, 30 mil copper bolts. Nuts, should I say not bolts and nuts?
bolts and nuts and then tighten any including that fitted there. Range one, both your sensor, back in, including the plug and also back two. As you can see, some people say upstream or downstream. Now we're going to finish off underneath. And then tie it up to see what it sounds like. Now we're going to tighten that fitting mill. As you can see, I've got a little bit of copper slip around it. And we're going to connect this bracket and start the engine and see if it's blowing. And that should be it if it's all okay. The bracket is still connected. So we're going to clamp, as you can see. See, I'm sticking over nicely. I wonder why it sounds like that, because the free cylinder. Still awake. And a little bit of smoke that's coming up is just from the WD40 burning off, and also there's some new cats. Thank you, and thank you for watching. If you have a visual, please like and subscribe to my channel for further content. Thank you for watching.